What do you mean you've never heard of Wilga Rock? It's Australia's second biggest rock. Where she is located is about 25 kilometres west of um, Kew. But what she's more more famous for really is her um, all the Aboriginal rock paintings. This one in particular is off an old ship. They reckon it was out the coast of um, Shark Bay somewhere, but yeah, nobody really knows who put it there and stuff like that. There's, 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 you go into the history of it and yeah, there's all different types of stories of who put the paintings there. Especially about the rock, the um, ship itself. But yeah, there's some really good paintings there and um, if you ever go there, please don't touch them and keep right away and just take photos only. Because we want these to last for many years yet. green bush there I can see a bung arrow coming through I'll just duck up to the bank and we'll just sit there nice and quietly and see if I can get him on film <coughs> while I'll make the bung arrows coming down for a drink as much as these birds are thirsty as none of them are going to come down while he's there the water holes too small and he could grab it grab them easily even this crow won't come down While I was just filming those ducks there, I do all I had on my feet was just my thongs. And I've been walking around like this for the last 10 minutes. Just because of these um, double G's. If you've never had these in your feet, go and stick a needle in there. And that's what it feels like. But I've got about oh, eight, 900 of them sitting here. And now I've got my boots on. I'm right to go. This is what they look like. <laughs> Up close. I've got three little prongs there. And once they stick into your foot, I can tell you it hurts. And look at that, look how many I got stuck in there. No wonder I was walking around. Now whenever I go on a trip, myself I might prefer to um, go on the back roads. Back roads to me are more scenic. This one here I've just gone on at the back of Q. Goes down to Yalgoo, she's about 200k long. Now this one's taken me about six hours. I've been stopping, filming bits and pieces here and there and just enjoying the countryside. But bear in mind, that, that six hours, I haven't seen a soul. Nobody. No, nobody whatsoever. No taxis, tow trucks, no policemen, no farmers, nothing. And it's, it's mid-January, so if you are going to come up here to this sort of country, and especially this time of year, make sure you've got ample supply of water. Even water to just cool yourself down. There's not always the oasis here to cool yourself down. So ample supply of water and definitely, definitely food. Food does help hydrate you. Whereas even if it's just baked beans, fried eggs, something like that, or just a sandwich. Make sure you've got heaps of that and of course your first aid kit. Again, when coming on the back roads, to me it's, it's worth it because you, you, know, you come to a little oasis like this. In the last half hour I've been watching um, some ducks come along, the turtles has just been coming up and a few minutes ago, a, a bung hour, as I just showed you, he just came down for a drink. It's just incredible. And to me, this is the Australia that I love. <laughs> 